Good morning, Father Victor here. What comes to mind when you hear the question, where are you staying? The Gospel of John had the same question to Jesus. Teacher, where are you staying? It may be understood as where do you live, where is your home, your dwelling place. They want to know where he stays. The Greek word used for staying literally means to remain, to abide. It's a key theme in John's Gospel and in his letters. And as we read John's Gospel, we begin to understand slowly that this word meant more than a simple address or a place where one lives. It meant staying in close proximity to someone or to have intimacy with a person. The two disciples, Andrew and presumably John the Beloved, the Apostles, the author of this Gospel, wanted to know where Jesus stays since they are now his disciples and no longer of John the Baptist. So Jesus summons to them, Come and see. It's an invitation to join him. And the story tells us, So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. Jesus invites them, Come and see where I remain, where I abide, so they can learn to live like the way he lives. And that was the start of their new adventure, a great adventure. And their lives were never the same again. And Jesus, in order to respond to their question, Rabbi, where are you staying, abiding? He had his whole three years to show them what it means to remain, to leave, to abide with him by his very life and by his new commandments. And in order to confirm the truth of what he's saying, he worked great signs and wonders, feeding of multitudes, curing of the sick, driving out demons, raising the dead back to life, coming the stormy sea, walking on the waters, and finally at the cross to show them that nothing can separate them from his love, even until death. Furthermore, to stay with him, which is to abide with him, were found in these words he left us. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I abide in him. Just as the branch cannot produce fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can unless you abide in me. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. It all began with two disciples who had an encounter with Jesus. Did he say anything that changed their lives? Most likely no. Not here, otherwise the evangelists would have written it down. But for certain, they were transformed by who Jesus was, his whole person, not so much of what he said that day. This word said 2,000 years ago to Jesus' first two disciples seeking to know where he stays, where he abides, comes alive today to invite us to a journey of discipleship. Come and see. Thank you and God bless.